Now, it just gave you a refresher on the difference between series and parallel wiring for the purpose of explaining this topic on partial shading properly. Because if you connect your cells or panels in series and you have partial shading or malfunctioning of one of the cells or panels in the complete loop, in the complete string, then the negative impact of this shading or damage impacts the complete string. So everything that is connected in series, if there's only one cell or module um, that has a, a lower performance, then the complete string is heavily impacted. Opposite to that, if you wire your panels or your cells in parallel and you have a local uh, low performance, a shading or a damage, then the impact is much lower. Um, so I think again it's much easier to explain this uh, when I, we go to the whiteboard. So let me explain the, the very same thing what I just said, but now in a visual way. So let's take a theoretical photovoltaic module which has 60 cells combined in series. So there's 6 times 10 cells and all of the 60 cells are connected in one continuous string in one continuous circuit so that all of them are connected in series now let's say we get a situation whereby a leaf a very thick leaf is falling on the middle of the module and that leaf is completely covering one of the photovoltaic cells it's covering one of these cells therefore that cell is no longer uh, producing electricity but is also blocking the general operations blocking the current to run through the whole panel and because it is blocking the current to run through the whole panel now all of a sudden due to this one leaf completely covering one cell the whole panel is out of function the whole panel is not producing any power anymore which is really something that is uh, quite unfortunate right so then the uh, now we introduce the bypass diode by the way this is the the symbol of the bypass diode we already saw it before earlier on in the course but now we introduce the bypass diode which is a small electrical component and we place it in the module whereby we kind of create three short shortcuts in the complete circuit wiring right so we place the the three bypass diodes as you can see here in the in the diagram all right let him shut up for a second i just want to explain to you that the content of this video is copied from the complete course of energy systems if this information is enough for you great if you want to learn more and if you want to get access to the complete course then check the information in the description below all right you go out again and then as a result what's happening if that leaf has fallen on the on the center of the photovoltaic module and it's covering this one cell um, the the center bypass diode kicks in the center bypass diode starts to work and it kind of eliminates the the center section of the panel so it says okay it's bypassing the center section of the panel and as a result that center section is no longer working it's not doing anything anymore it's not producing any electricity for you but because it's bypassing that section, now the first and this, the third section of the photovoltaic module are still working. They're still producing at their full capacity under the given conditions. And then as a result, you're still getting two thirds of the theoretical power output of the panel. So this is a situation that can often occur due to something falling on the panel. This is most frequently, or for example, a bird defecating on your on your module, or and that is that is less common if one of the cells would be malfunctioning. If there would be a disconnection in the wiring of the of one of the solar cells, then also this would happen. And therefore, I mean, the panel will be permanently damaged, but at least you're still getting two thirds of the output of the panel. So that is one situation that could happen whereby the bypass diode assists in mitigating negative effect of partial shading. So let's look at a different situation. Let's assume that you have a bit of shading from a chimney or for some kind of obstruction from a branch or something that's casting a shade on your panel. So it would be a larger kind of shade and let's assume that it's as per the as per the picture and you are blocking all the red cells so all the red cells are not receiving any sunlight anymore then the situation is very similar to what i just described before right so the the first bypass diode will kick in it will redirect the power from the first third of the panel and now the second third and uh, the last third of the panel are still producing at their full capacity under the given conditions
Now, with these two examples in mind, I think it will also be easy for you to understand that another situation can occur, which is really slightly problematic, that if you would get, instead of a very local shading spot or a, a malfunction, or instead of a, a kind of shading that's cast kind of in, in the vertical way on the panel, if you would get a little bit of shade from the top of the panel in like kind of a horizontal orientation, then this would be disastrous for the panel, right? Because you understand now how normally a typical panel is wired. So if you would get this kind of uh, shading on your panel, then all of the loops are blocked, which means that all of the bypass dies will kick in. So it is a very unfortunate situation, but at least it is unfortunate because you are not producing any more power with this panel. If all the three bypass diodes will kick in, you are not producing any more power only due to that little bit of shade falling on the, the top edge of the panel. So it is unfortunate, but at least you are still allowing any possible other panels that are connected in series or parallel with your array to still function, right? So by this happening, you are not producing any more power with that panel, but your total array can still continue to, um, to function properly. So that was a quick but a bit more...